Hey guys, good to be back. Jason's here. Today we will continue with the second part of Core Features introduction, and we will be starting with conference. The conference call is a highly demanded feature, especially for big corporations and organizations which have multiple branch offices. It is based on multiple party calling, combined with the concept of meeting room management, which will set certain participants as a moderator that will take control over other participants. All participants will have the ability to mute and unmute themselves and invite other people to the meeting. Along with other functions, they all serve the same purpose to improve the efficiency and experience on a multiple party conference call. A mature conference call feature is a must have in the telephone system now. Let's just take a look at the conference function now. First of all, we could name this conference room and the number is generated. Internal extensions and outside numbers, if configured so, can dial this number to enter the conference room directly. Once entered, they will be able to talk with each other in this conference room. If we want to have a private meeting, just set a participant password here. Then all participants will be required to enter the password to get through. We also have moderator password. Anybody, when required by the system, can enter the moderator password instead of participant password. We could join the meeting as a moderator of the meeting room by using that password. Certainly, we can point specific extensions as moderators of the meeting room. They will be the permanent moderators. And those joined in by moderator password will be the temporary moderators. Then, here we have two options. If we check to wait for the operator, the meeting will not start until the moderators join in. Others who get in too early, though they can enter the meeting room, it is not available for them to initiate any conversation. We can also enable allow the participant to invite, to let normal participants invite others as participants. Moderators and participants can manage conference room by features code, as shown here. Now, we will be talking about the callback. Callback means when a call was made to the system, the S-Series PBX will hang up the call and give the callback to the original number who made that call. So the first thing we need to remember to use callback function is we must make sure the trunk comes with the caller ID. Otherwise, the system will not be able to recognize the call number. Now, we we'll click on the add to create a new callback. First, name this callback rule, and then we need to choose the trunk to send back the call. We can also choose to send back the call from the trunk that receives the call in the very first place. Then, we will need to set delay before a callback. It is a delay time configured after hanging up the original call and initiate a callback. Basically, we suggest keeping the default setting unless having a problem with the callback. And then, we will have the stripped and prepend. It needs to be set according to the album roads rule that involves the trunk with which you choose to send back the call. At last, we will need a destination for the callback. That will be the destination the original caller will reach when the callback takes effect. There are numerous options for us. It totally depends on our projects for specific solutions. The last call feature which we're going to talk about is the speed dial. The first thing we need to discuss is the speed dial code. It's kind of like the trigger to switch on the speed dial. And uh, the phone number will be the real destination. Once assigned dial code to the phone number, don't forget to click on save. If we are trying to import mass quantity of numbers for speed dial in the system, just import a template as the one of the extension. The template is right over here. Put in the speed dial code with the phone number. Once it has been down, click Upload to finish up the setting. To trigger a speed dial, we will need to dial the speed dial prefix asterisk 99 first. We could also change that prefix. Just make sure the prefix we will set 
does not overlap with other features code. Alright guys, that was all for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe us if you like this video. Really appreciate you guys' support. We provide abandoned materials for e-star training and test. Please be free to access our web. And uh, hopefully to see you guys in the next video. And don't forget to click on the bottom side link.